It's me again. So I'm in my broadcasting live from my bedroom again. This is just my little sanctuary where I do my writing and reading and um, I do put my computer away, however, um, at night now on the advice of the nutrition divas who say that it interferes with your sleep and stuff, which I think it has an effect because the last three nights I have slept so good. And maybe it's just because I have dumped the junk. Uh, so it's been an interesting process for me. Um, I am in full on menopause. So I started this thing thinking that, you know, if I can sleep better and improve my life in any way, I, I'm all for it. Um, so anyway, week one was, um, the elimination of what they call, uh, reducing snacks, which defined by their dump the junk catalog, um, sugar, no sugar, no nicotine, alcohol, chemicals, or caffeine. So, uh, I'm on week two, week one. Um, I eliminated everything pretty much except the caffeine I tapered on. I've cheated a couple times week two. I've had two cups of coffee. I admit it. I cheated. Um, and it felt so good to do it. Um, and I've been sleeping great. I mean, it hasn't affected my sleep at all. Uh, let's see. So, um, oh, tonight. So tonight I came home from work. A pretty taxing day at work, actually. Um. I love my job, by the way. I love it. I don't ever want to do anything else. Um, but anyway, some days are tough. And I came home today. My kids are with their, uh, my husband, uh, half of the week. So they are gone for the next three days. And I came home today and I thought, wow, I just really feel like having a glass of wine. And so you know what? I did. And... I don't know what the nutrition divas would say about that, if that means that I have just completely blown it and I should just, you know, forget about the whole thing. I don't think so. I think um, that uh, I just felt like it, and I did, and I had uh, a glass and a half of wine, and I think that maybe I should drink every 12 days from now on because it totally has a different effect after 12 days. Anyway, uh, I I'm, I'm feel like I'm doing pretty good. I'm reverting now to my tea. I've had so much tea. I have had consumed more tea in the last 12 days, I think, than I have in my entire life. So it, it keeps me going, if you know what I mean. Um, that's probably interrupting my sleep more than anything, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I, um, well, it, I'm, it, it's interesting. I'll see how I sleep tonight, uh, if having alcohol has any effect on my, you know, in my sleep. But I, I, the last three nights, I've just finally gotten into a really good sleep rhythm, which I really like. And it'd be a bummer if, if like, alcohol had that kind of effect, like, oh, God, I can never drink a, again to sleep. Um, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm just here to spill it all. I don't want to keep any secrets. Uh, 21 days, you know, detox. That's a long time to go without stuff that you're used to having. So all in all, I think that I've done pretty good. And I, I, I did cheat today and, you know, I feel a little guilty about it, but not that bad. I, I enjoyed myself. I, um, poured a glass of wine and I watched this old Allie McBeal um, episode, <laughs> which is kind of pathetic. It's Wednesday night. I'm single. I should have a hot date, but hey, Allie McDeal, M McDeal, McDeal, McBeal and I, we have some things in common. Um, dateless. Yeah, except she was in Boston and I'm in Sonoma. I think she got more action than I'm getting now. Anyway, uh, that's me. That's my deal. I'm signing off. I'm drinking my tea. I'm going to have a good night's sleep. I hope I'll report to you on how that goes and day 12. And now tomorrow I have to resume my purest um, detox. All right. That's it for now. Ciao.